guys are so kind. Like, even the videos where I do basically nothing, everyone's still saying that they really enjoyed the chill vlog. Like, thanks. <laughs> I felt like yesterday's video sucked, but I appreciate it, everybody. Anyway, the video's up. I've got to clean my desk a little bit because there's a, a tournament starting in an hour and 20. It's only a hype cup, like, there's nothing on the line, there's no cash or anything, but these are the ones that I enjoy the most because they're not as difficult as the cash ones. Let's have a look outside, see what's happening. I don't really have any time to go enjoy outside today, but I'll bring you out here anyway so you can see the climate. This is what we're dealing with today. Tiny bit of rain coming in. This has been the, the driest January in like 25 years or something crazy. So maybe it'll rain today, who knows. Oof. It's pretty cold, but then again, I am wearing shorts. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm going back inside. <laughs> no, 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 none of that for me today. No, thank you. I've always admired vloggers that can basically do nothing and still make it entertaining. I aspire to be like that because not every day is insane adventures. Like, usually I would vlog just the insane stuff, but now I'm doing it daily and it's winter. Not every day is going to be nuts. But I hope you guys realize that, like, you understand that not every day of my life is insane. Often I'm just doing really mundane tasks, just trying to get by. But hopefully you're not here just to see, like, the insane stuff, you're actually just here to... I don't know, enjoy life with me. Get some positivity for your day. A couple of the comments on yesterday's vlog are saying that they watch the videos first thing in the morning just to get some positivity, and like, that's so nice. Like, people just want to hang out with me in the morning just so they can start their day right. So where it should be? We're all just hanging out. We're all digitally hanging out in this space that we still don't understand really. I think the internet is so wild and I'm so happy that I invested in it early because it's been so fruitful for me. It's so fun. And when I first started this, like I had no friends. I mean, I still don't have very many friends. But what I mean is like I had literally no friends. I just dropped out of school and I was working for a couple of years and all my school friends, all the people that I knew in my life, that was like the scope of my friendships. I had some online friends from gaming, but back then people didn't really meet up in real life. So I had no friends basically, and I was trying to make some. And I, all the vloggers that I was watching at the time had so many friends around them all the time. And I was like, maybe it's because they're making content and that they need people around to make the content more fun. So maybe that's why they all just gravitate, or maybe because they're sharing their lives, they're just attracting these people. So I put two and two together and started making my own thing. And hey, it worked for a while, I attracted a bunch of people, but it also attracts a lot of negative people, and at the time I didn't know how to filter who was good and who was bad for me. So I just let everyone around me, I was just, I was too generous with my, my energy. Obviously that just brings loads of hurt. And now, now I'm still alone. <laughs> I'm alone, but by choice at this point. Obviously when I get my own space, I'll, I'll open my doors again, let people come, come and visit. But right now, I'm not letting anyone come and hang out with me. The only person I would let into my life is like, is Poppy. Like we see each other like once a month. She's really nice to be around, so I let her in, but no one else at the moment. So my breakfast for anyone interested, it's just fruit and fiber and some granola on top. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this. So basically, I used to have my studio in the spare house. It's basically the older version of this house, which is attached on the side. It's just full of spiders and it's just falling apart. I used to be in there because I used to, I liked being alone and having my own space. And then it got too cold in around November, December. So I brought everything in here reluctantly. And I wanted my setup to look the same as it did in the studio. So my webcam's there pointing towards like the PC, me, and then you see this backdrop here. So these were on the wall originally, and I can't stick them on the walls in here without like ruining everything, ruining the paint. So <laughs> I got a piece of string and made like a washing line, attaching it to like a suitcase and the, the curtain rack. I've got <laughs> a washing line pole to hold it up, and then I've just pegged all the tapestries on. So it looks silly in the daytime, but on stream you can't tell, it just looks like they're up on the wall. <laughs> And this isn't all my tapestry, the rest of them are in my room, just packed away right now. What's weird too is that I haven't unpacked from moving house. When I moved from Spain to here, I didn't unpack because I didn't think I was going to stay here very long. 
But then obviously winter's just hard to do stuff and to like generate enough money to get out of here. So things have been slow and I still haven't unpacked anything. It's all just packed away. I'm wearing like very, very few clothing. If you notice in my vlogs, I'm just wearing the same things over and over because I, I refuse to unpack. <laughs> I don't want to get comfortable here because I don't plan on staying. I'm here because they generously offered the space and I needed it. I don't want to be homeless again. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> right, I need to clean my desk because when I'm gaming, I can't have tons of things on the desk without distracting me. <laughs> some, some snacks. Some banana snacks. Just my necklaces. Alright, let me clean up. <laughs> it's like nearly midnight. I've been streaming for seven hours. Not good. I mean, it's great if you like if you like Twitch, but you guys aren't here for Twitch, you're here for YouTube, so... I have an idea. There's a photo that I want to take in the woods, and I'm trying to convince Jazz to come with me. But he seems very comfortable. Alright, he's on board. Let's do it. I realised that vlogging and walking in the dark is probably a bad idea. Because I can't see where I'm going, and, and you can't see me. So... <laughs> My idea is pretty close to the house, so I just gotta get to it. <laughs> this is stupid. This is what happens when I don't film a vlog during the day. But it's just so windy and horrible today, I didn't want to go out. <laughs> Alright, it's I can film the floor. Yeah, I can film the floor. That works. I don't know how much you guys are gonna see on the my night cam here. There's so much wood that's fallen from the from the wind this couple past couple days. Storm has been rolling in. We didn't get any rain with it, just just wind. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Whereas this this log that's fallen down, I wanted to take some pictures on it. For only fans, it's really hard to carry two cameras at the same time and a and a light. I'm just gonna film forward. Sorry, guys. Right. Is that it? There it is. Guys are probably so confused why I brought him out here. <laughs> he was so comfy. All right, this is the spot. Our fallen tree friends. Pose. <laughs> Just is probably so confused what I'm doing out here. It's really nice out here. It's very warm. The ground's very warm as well. The leaves are really, really nice on my feet. But the stars are out. Like it's cloudy, but the stars are out. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's, it's very atmospheric and very nice. I do like spending time out in the dark. I got some nice shots. <laughs> Every day that I don't feel like making something, I have to remind myself why I'm doing this in the first place. The whole reason I'm doing it forcing myself to make something every day it's because of the routine it gets me in and it forces my brain to be in creative mode all the time I don't then I don't have a chance to be in like sluggish feel bad about life mode like obviously I have bad days but my brain is still thinking creatively and that's what I need to stay happy but also I have an end goal my end goal is generate enough money so I can move out again generally whenever I force myself to make things that's when I get the most out of life so I figured why not do it daily because then there's no downtime, there's no, no time to dwell or think about the past or anything. All I'm doing is creating in the now, and then that's helping me in the future. You might notice this, but a lot of your favorite creators, they don't post in January. January is like the dead month of YouTube. It's when everyone takes a break, because the ad revenue is the lowest in January. So I'm pretty crazy for even starting this in January, but it's not all about that. <laughs> like I don't care so much about the revenue. I care about getting myself into a space where I feel comfortable again. And when I'm in a creative headspace, that's when I actually feel like myself. When I'm in a creative headspace with friends, that's like me elevated. That's what I always seek. That's what I want. So creating in January is getting me in a routine that I can hopefully keep on going. 
just keep pushing forward February, March, all the way into spring. And then like the spring vlogs, the summer vlogs, the travel vlogs, when that, all that comes back in, it gets really exciting again. So it doesn't matter what I'm doing every day, as long as I'm doing something, I'm happy with that. I just have to remind myself, like, I'm not, I'm not being forced to do this. I'm doing this because I want to. And it helps my brain. <laughs> anyway, let's go inside. <laughs> what do you think of the daily vlog, sir? Sir, please, an interview.